He's sitting in a jail outside Seattle charged with killing his own son. Tonight, we know much more about the investigation and arrest of Mark Redwine. Chief investigative reporter Tony Kovaleski sat down with Dylan's mom and two key players in the investigation. Rain is falling here in Durango and much has happened over the past several days. That comes in contrast to years where many people questioned if an arrest would ever be made. I miss my kid, I miss my son, I miss all the things that he's missing out on. And For Dylan's mom, it's been four and a half years of waiting and wondering. Many people suspected it. It became real on Saturday when police put handcuffs on your ex-husband. Surprised? No. I was not surprised. Here's the timeline that helps explain how we got here. Dylan Redwine went missing from his father's home near Durango on November 19th of 2012. Ten days later, the county sheriff's office executed a search warrant at the home of Dylan's dad. We have since learned inside they found traces of Dylan's blood and cadaver dogs picked up scents inside the house and inside Mark Redwine's truck. Then, seven months after Dylan's disappearance, now in June of 2013, the CBI confirmed it had found Dylan's remains on a nearby mountain. More than two years later, now in August of 2015, La Plata County Sheriff's named Mark Redwine a person of interest. Then last weekend, 1,707 days after Dylan disappeared, outside of Seattle, Washington, law enforcement placed Mark Redwine in handcuffs, charged with the murder of his son. Is it fair for the community to wonder why it took so long? I think so. La Plata County Sheriff Sean Smith. We took the time to do it right because we get one shot and we didn't want to mess up. Your initial reaction when you learned there were handcuffs on Mark Redwine? I was the guy that got to send that text that said he's in custody and it felt really good. Dylan's dad Mark is in custody and charged with the murder. Now the county DA will work to convince a jury they have the right guy. It's time to bring justice on this case. It's time for resolution. We've waited long enough. So we made the right decision to be patient, but the time is now and we're looking forward to it. So the next question, when will Mark Redwine show up in this courthouse in Durango? On Monday, he decided not to waive extradition in Washington. That means the process will take longer. It could take as many as 90 days before he returns to Colorado. Reporting in Durango, I'm Tony Kovaleski, Denver 7. And Denver 7 obtained this video showing the moment Washington police closed in on Mark Redwine. He didn't fight, he didn't try to run. When officers told him they had a warrant for murder, Redwine responded, quote, I have no idea what this is about. You can watch the full arrest video right now on the denverchannel.com.